hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Coach Al Thomas Show, our weekly look at West Georgia Wolves softball. And Coach Al, it's hard to believe we're 15 games into the season already. It seems like you just got underway. Yeah, it, it, you know, once the season gets started, it moves moves very quickly. But uh, we've had 10 of those games played in four days. That's true. So it adds up pretty quickly. Well, of course, last weekend conference play began Competitive series against the Hawks. We dropped two out of three. Your thoughts on the Shorter series, Coach? Well, um, Shorter's got uh, Peyton Lippert. Uh, she's actually from Meridian, Mississippi. She's a senior pitcher. Um, I may or may not have had something to do with her being at Shorter. Yes. Um, but I know her very well. And uh, she was spot on the first game. Uh, I think we only uh, we got about three hits, I believe, the whole game. and. And then uh, we were able to come back in and, and uh, win the second game. So it put us on Saturday with the winner take all of the series. And, and we actually made some adjustments. Uh, and I think we put 11 hits on the board. But our 11 hits only generated three runs. And if you have 11 hits, you've got to have eight, nine runs out of those 11 hits. And pretty much what that tells us is that we we're playing base to base. And then we couldn't come up with a big hit when we had runners in scoring position. Um, and then um, our pitchers didn't have a great day uh, on Saturday. To, and, uh, and so a combination of us not being able to push runs across when we needed to, and, um, and Shorter was able to uh, put us on the downside of that game. Um, you know, and, and when you lose a game like that, you have to come back and really analyze, okay, what did we do wrong? Where could we do better? Uh, but unfortunately, we're all in the cage this week because we can't get out on the field to do anything. So, uh, so we're, we're trying to do uh, the best we can under the circumstances so we can uh, get better and move on. What's good about this team right now? We're sitting at 8-7. We've played some very good ball games. What do you like about the, uh, the performance so far? Well, our kids, our kids are upbeat. Um, we, we, we don't, what we don't have is continuity. Um, we've had, because of sickness and injury, um, we have had uh, some holes in our lineup and, uh, and trying to fill those holes. But the team is not discouraged. And uh, they understand that they really can do a lot of special things. So once we can get everybody healthy and we can practice, um, I think that we'll put some things together and it'll be much more enjoyable for everybody. You know, you talk about the weather situation, and it has been an absolute quagmire for the last, it seems like, for a week. What can you do in the cage? You can do maybe A, B, a little bit of C, but D through the rest of the alphabet's pretty much standing there, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's, um, we, we have to be uh, creative, um, but, but it also gives us, um, uh, when we go indoors, we split the team in half. So we only are allowed, you know, we don't have any cages on campus that are covered or indoors. So we have to use uh, someone local. Um, and we're only allowed in there uh, up until 430 because their clientele comes in. So we divide the team into two parts, one, one group from 130 to 230 and one group from 230 to 330. And that pretty much is what we do. Then our pitchers can throw inside. They've got a little area that the pitchers can throw, uh, work on some of their things. But in the hitting part, we, we're we really not having great swings. And it gives us an opportunity to really work fundamentally on our swings off the tee and in front toss. And then we try to be creative and come up with a game that we can play in there. You know, for instance, you know, we'll put a net up at the end. And, you know, when you hit the ball, you, you've got to hit the net, right, instead of pulling it left or right or pushing it or what have you. So just being creative, um, you know, and, and, you know, I, and, and I'm scared. I, I had a rumor that OSHA was out here yesterday, and we didn't have swim fins, snorkels, or nose plugs, and they may shut us down from practicing outside right now because we're not compliant. We'll wait for that report to come, Coach. <laughs> Speaking of swim fins, snorkels, and everything else, you look at the schedule. It says we're going to play Mississippi College. That's as we talk here on Wednesday morning. Uh, there's a lot has to happen for that. To, uh, you know, they've had the same lousy weather we've had, and it's it's very tough to get a ball game, much less three in. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Um, you know, Mississippi College, um, Brooke does a great job there. They're very talented. You don't want to go play on less than ideal surface in a situation where you know you're you're trying to lift your team up and and get them in a position to play hard. Um, 
We're just going to have to wait and see what develops. Uh, the rain looks like it's almost identical to what we're experiencing here. Uh, they've had all the rain, more rain coming. Uh, baseball's got an idea. They're going to move to uh, Bellhaven University, who their baseball team has an artificial field. Um, there's an artificial infield available uh, possibly at, at, a, at Hines Community College that we possibly could play on, but they may be playing games that they've got to make up as well. So we're not really sure what's going to happen, but um, we'll just try to make the best of it and, and, and hope and pray that we can get you know some place to, to play. You mentioned MC and a good program over there. They've been good the last several years. That was sort of the the first Mississippi College after they jumped back into Division Two. That was the first program to really compete and thrive, wasn't it? Well, yeah, you know their their mindset and facilities are not the D three level of what they were playing on. Okay. So they were able to attract uh, a lot of great players. Um, and, and that's across the board. It's baseball or football or, or, or basketball, the whole thing. They're, they're very talented. They've got a great group of people in their athletic department. So it is a challenge to come up and, and, uh, and, and play them at home. Uh, but, you know, we, and, uh, two years ago, Mississippi College won the softball tournament, you know, kind of out of nowhere. And they, they seem to just build some momentum, and Brooke does such a great job. But, you know, we, we can compete with anybody in the country. We just have to bring our A game. And, and that's where we're trying to go. In the bottom line, if you can play in this conference, you can play with anybody in the country. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No, no, no question about that. And, you know, uh, our conference is so unique that – from, from the first place team to the last place team, if you don't show up to play, you will get beat. Well, maybe, Coach, it'll dry out. The girls won't have to play in scuba gear, and we can get this thing going very quickly. Well, I thought about changing the game over to East Mississippi. That is scuba Mississippi. Spell so I thought, I thought that that may be an option, but I realized that, that the field was not got so. We're I, just not into last chance. No, but they have a new Dollar General over there they're really excited about. Yes, they built it inside an existing Dollar General. <laughs> but that is our story with Coach Al Thomas today. Uh, stay tuned, uwgsports.com. Whatever changes or shifts may happen with the Wool Series against Mississippi College, that's where you'll find out the information on that and everything to do with Wool softball and all of UWG athletics. For Coach Al Thomas, I'm Mitch Gray. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, go Wolves!